Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to do a comic book effect on uh, screenshots from Second Life. I'm sure this will work with other programs as well, and in fact other images, uh, like photographs or whatever. I'm using a very generic screenshot from Second Life. I, I feel like this is, you know, it's unremarkable, and it should show you kind of the effects you can get without a lot of extra work. To start with, we've got the image in the uh, in the background. We're gonna start by going over here and taking this layer, the default background layer, and making a copy. That'll create a background copy up here, and that preserves the original image so that we don't mess it up and we always have an extra one to pull from. To start with, I'm gonna work with the, uh, the, the line drawing part of the image. And to do that, I first go up here to Image and uh, Adjustments, and I go to Desaturate. That turns the image black and white. Now I take that black and white image and go into Image Adjustments again and go to Levels. Now in Levels, uh, first thing I do is I sort of punch up the white, get the white nice and crisp and bright, and then I take black and cut it to about half so it's really a washed out kind of grayscale image. Uh, that makes sure that there's no actual black on the screen. That's going to be useful when we do the next step here. Because we're going to go up to Filter. I'll just open up the browser. And we're going to go to, I think it's Poster Edges. That looks good. That looks like the right one. Okay, we've got three options under Poster Edges. That's Edge Thickness, Edge Intensity, and Posterization. Posterization is the number of, uh, oh, for lack of a better word, number of shades in the image. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slide that back and forth, see what looks good. Uh, to be honest, we're, we don't need this. This is so, I'm just going to throw it all the way over to six. And edge intensity, we want, we definitely want to be heavy, but we don't, in this particular image, need super detailed, thick, ed or super thick edges. We'd like a little detail. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down to, um, I'll put it at three. So there's our first layer, and you can see now that it's uh, kind of like a faded newspaper kind of cartoon right away. I'm going to create another layer from the original background. That's up here. And now we're back to the background image, just like that. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go back and create adjustments, desaturate, it's black and white again. Then I'm going to go to adjustments, and I'm going to go to threshold. Threshold, awesome tool. Only two options, black or white. You get to decide where the black and the white are. For purposes of a comic book, we really don't want everything to be black like this. It's a pretty cool looking image, but we actually want most of it to be white, and this is just going to be like the, the parts where they would just fill in black ink, because there's no point in doing other colors. So let's... I think that's probably actually a pretty good contrast area there. Now we'll go over here to the layers tab again, and we're going to change the background copy to, which is the black fill, to, uh, what is it, multiply. And now we've got these nice black washed areas and these outlines. Now you'll notice up here in the mountains there's a lot of extra noise. That's going to come whenever you have a lot of detail in an image and a lot of, you know, different color changes and such. Changing it to black and white helped us with that, but with this particular image we're just going to have those lines in there and that's that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into background copy again, which is the, if you remember, the just the outlines with the sort of gray shading. I'm going to copy that layer and I'm going to go ahead and go up to, uh, let's see, what is it? Oh, let's go to desaturate, or not desaturate, let's go to um, threshold again, and just pick the black lines that we want. So in this image, we're going to sort of, we'll, this will take out some of the details in the area here. And now we've got a white outlines, we've got our black fill, we can put it together. Now we've already got something that looks very much like a drawing, like line art, because, well, that's what it is, actually. It's become one one bit art. Let's go back to the original image now. And we're going to pop that back up here. And this is color. We want to reduce the number of colors because that'll look really weird. Because uh, comic books don't ever have that much color depth. 
Let's go over to uh, filter. Which one? Cutout. Cutout get, lets you pick a number of colors. It's very similar in many ways to posterization, but it's uh, well, it's different. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to set edge fidelity to three, which is the most fidelity, so it's the closest to the accurate. And I'm going to do edge simplicity to zero. That means it can have very ornate edges. And I'm going to set the number of levels, in this case, to seven. So there we go. Now, because this has a lot of blue where there shouldn't be blue and such, I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to um, black and white. And we'll take this image and select multiply again. Now that's our shading. Last thing we do really here is go into the background layer and grab the color version of the image again. And we're just going to set that to color. Now we've already created what would pass for um, oh, comic book art. Um, in fact, in many comic books, it looks very much like this graphic novels and such. But the classic comic book has a little bit more going on to it. Uh, for this, I'm going to create, I'm going to take a snapshot of the entire image, and that's co copy merged. Uh, so I selected all, that's with uh, control A, I think. Yeah, control A, some of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, control A. And then I'm going to go ahead and go copy merged and paste, which is control V. And that'll create a layer that has all of this combined sort of flattened. And I'm going to go up here to filter, pixelate, filter. Uh, so pixelate color halftone. And we're going to set the max radius to four, which I believe is the minimum. And we'll get this effect here. Now this is still very sort of gushy, not very useful. But if we take this layer and fade it out in opacity, so it just sort of lends its texture to the image. And that's how I did it. I hope that the tutorial has been relatively useful for you and can help you, I don't know, jump out there and create new and exciting things uh, or just make comic book illustrations <laughs> out of your Second Life screenshots. Um, it's very handy if you want to make a webcomic. It doesn't take too much time, as you can see. So, yeah, there you go.